Hi, I'm Lauren, a junior at East Greenwich High School. Um, one of the most common questions young artists ask is how to get a good photograph of their artwork. In this video, I will show you the do's and don'ts when taking pictures of your art. The first thing you need to do to get a great picture is to move to a place with good lighting. Near a window or even outside would work well. Make sure the light is hitting the art in a way so that there's no shadow. So right here, I moved my piece of artwork right next to the window, it's right over here, and the light is hitting it so that there's no shadow on the artwork. So this will make it easier to photograph it. And also going outside is really helpful to get a good picture. Next, you need to find a way to set your piece upright. Setting it upright helps to get a clear and accurate photograph of your artwork. To do this, prop your work up on, chair, on a chair, or if you have an easel, you can use that. So I use just a regular dining room chair, dining room table chair, so it's just a regular chair, and I put my artwork up like this so it gives the effect of an easel, and this will help so that when you're taking your picture, there's not your shadow going over it, because sometimes people will get a shadow of a phone, and that's not what you want when taking pictures of your artwork. After that, you're ready to take the picture. You should use a good camera, like the ones installed on iPhones. Do not use your Chromebook. Many people use computers or Chromebooks to take their pictures, but these pictures can come out looking blurry and distorted. After all these steps are done and you have a good camera to take the picture, stand next to your artwork and make sure you get the whole art piece in the picture. After that, snap the picture and send it to your art teacher or save the photos. So for this picture, I would move up here I would stand right in front of it and I would size it up so that I get a good picture and I get the whole, the whole painting in the picture. Anyone can do this process, although it might take some practice to get a perfect picture. I hope this helps and have fun using your new skills to photograph your artwork. Bye!